So it is Thursday morning. I'm going to go to the gym fasting this morning. My banana. I've eaten my yogurt and granola already. But um, I go to the gym every day, like Monday to Friday. But on Monday and Tuesday, I didn't show anything, which I should have. But anyway, I brought you to the gym yesterday. So I thought I'd bring the camera to this because my gym's in my building. So it's quite quiet. I can bring a camera there, otherwise I'd feel super weird. But yeah, so I'm going to do a chest workout today. Just generally a push workout because yesterday I did uh, legs. I won't bother showering when I get back because it's going to be... It's not hot today, but when I clean the car, I'm going to get super dirty. So, yeah. I will just then probably eat, have a coffee, go out, need to change tyres on the X5 and then clean it, ready for tomorrow. Okay, so workout done. Push day, chest day. I did uh, some Smith machine for the bench because I wanted to try and push today. So I'm putting 80 kilograms on that. And the bar needs weighs nothing. So I um, did that for like three sets. Quite good, like eight to 10 reps. Then went down a bit for the last two. And then did some cable flies. Uh, did three heavy sets. And then one lightweight set. And then I like to do some triceps and some uh, side doubts on my push days. On my triceps, I start at like quite heavy and I can't do it because whenever I get to like the second set after a warm up and a first set, I can actually do it. I get used to it and then I can do it. So yeah, maybe I'll show a full week of working out. But yeah, now I've got to go have a coffee, change the tires.
Okay, so I'm in this X5. This is one of the older ones, 2017, but it's actually funny because our new X5 is really well specced, but it's more uncommon to get uh, the sunroof. Whereas on this one, as long as you've got M Sport, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that you've got sunroof. And this one is like a panoramic roof, it like, plus it opens all the way back there. Even if you've got the sunroof on the new X5, it doesn't open nearly as much. It opens like half way of what this opens. So yeah, anyway, let's go sort out the tires. Okay, so I have changed, actually I should change all four tires. The rear ones were pretty much dead and the front ones were gonna be dead soon. And because we're renting it over the summer, it's going to have a few more trips. So I thought I'd change it now. Why not? Um, so change all four of those. And then I actually had to pop by like a shop that's close to a flat that we rent out because they used to be part of like Keyness where you could drop off, drop off the keys, um, drop off and pick up. I mean, but they stopped doing that. So I asked if they would do it like privately with me because it's just so convenient to do. And it's so next to the flat. And they said, yeah. So I was just arranging that with them. Now I need to fill this car up with fuel because I'm out and about anyway. Um, and then I am going to head home, grab some lunch, eat it, and then wash this car. I just got here to wash the car, but this wing mirror that I needed to replace oh, just got delivered. So I thought I may as well change the wing mirror and do all that first. We got a wing mirror that was a different color. This is the only one I could get. And I'm gonna take it somewhere and they're just gonna change the old cap to the this new one. Well this new old one with the cap. So I'm gonna do that with one of my garages that I know. And then I'll wash the car after. I think that's a better idea. So this is all done. It was this wing mirror. I got a grey one. So the guy replaced it. And then I put this cap back. From the old one what well, he did i didn't do anything so that looks exactly the same lovely so back at my car washing setup for the third time this week uh here it is so i've got everything set up again i'm going to start with the interior um it's not just too bad on this when my brother picked it up he got it uh washed at a car wash so the inside is the main thing that if it's dirty takes a lot longer but it seems to be okay the SUVs generally take longer to clean um, than the 5 series of course because they're bigger but at least it's not as bad as the 7 seaters because when they're using the 7 seats then I have to clean another third row of seating which is very long but I'm not going to show too much of the cleaning because I showed that yesterday um, so yeah get on with this. Okay, so it is 6.30 in the morning on Friday and I got back pretty late from E3 yesterday. I dropped that 5 series that you would have seen in previous clips to a family there, 4.10, but by the time I came, they came out, it was like 10.15. By the time I walked to the train station, blah, 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 it was like 11.30 by the time I got back. And then, you know, I had to shower, eat, stuff like that, because I'd come straight from washing the X5 that I'm delivering today and changing the rimmer and that, doing all the stuff yesterday. And now 6.30am, I'm dropping the car, so that will be there for 7am. Enjoy your trip guys, see you there. See you.
I thought I'd wait here for a bit. I've given the car, so I'm just going to get the train back, but at a flat that we have some Airbnb guests checking out, and it's not till 9.45, it's 8 o'clock now. And I don't have any cars anymore, so I would have had to go home and then walk there from my flat, which is like a 25-minute walk. I'm thinking if I just go straight there from here, it's easier, and then walk back, probably. So I might just wait around for a little bit. So I'm here at the flat a little bit early. The guest is checking out at 9.45 and it's at 9.30. But uh, I think he was like he's like a tennis player. He's playing for Wimbledon, something in Wimbledon. And so, yeah, he wanted to stay longer, but unfortunately, we have guests coming tomorrow, so he couldn't. But um, yeah, interesting. You meet interesting people with the car rentals and Airbnb and stuff. It's nice to talk to them. But yeah, just whilst I'm waiting for the guests, so they're sort of like tennis players, um, and they're just at the restaurant below. They're just having a big breakfast. It's super windy here, so I don't know if you're even going to be able to hear me, but there is a car picking them up. I actually saw it. It's like a Range Rover. I think I'll speak close to the mic. It was like a Range Rover, a new Range Rover, like a Wimbledon sign on it. So, yeah, I went and said hi to them, told them to take their time, you know. Um, but they are having a huge breakfast. This guys probably have to play like all day. But anyway, yeah, yesterday was quite long because i had to do so many things with that x5 so i ended up washing it quite late and then i took it back to my flat swapped for the fire series and left straight away to go to Heathrow, so that would be on time gave that car to the guys by the time the guy was like 10 what, 20 10 30 got the train back you know by the time i got to bed a it's really late and then had to be up six o'clock this morning so I don't mind the early starts just when it's the late nights because I usually like to get up early and go to the gym first thing. So I wake up 6, be at the gym for like 6.37, get it done first thing. But yeah, I won't have to do these the late finishes. It's quite hard to wake up the next day when you have a couple of those in a row, especially when you're washing the car out and about in the sun. It's quite draining. But anyway, it's, uh, I like this. It's better that the weather's good. I'm not complaining. So the plan for today, I've dropped the car this morning to those people. They were nice. They're from Hong Kong. Uh, and then getting the keys for this. I'm going to walk back to my flat. And then uh, I've got a meeting with someone who is interested in listening to their cars with me on Turo. And then I'm going to at some point need to go to he get a haircut. And then around 6 o'clock, we're collecting the X5, the one that we dropped at the beginning of the week. And then need to wash that because it's going out tomorrow. Well, Sunday it's going out, but I won't be able to wash it tomorrow. So that's the plan. So we're done with the workout. I'm now going to go get the car from Central London. You probably recognise this walk from Tuesday when I dropped the car, but uh, it's not nearly as far as I walked on Tuesday because I walked all the way home. But I just got off at Lancaster, Lancaster Gate. And I've walked up to like one stop to like almost my blanche. The train was pretty packed, so I thought I'd get off earlier and then walk a bit more. So it was nice, uh, still a nice day. This guy was finished with it a bit early, he's supposed to be finished with it at six, but he's finished with it a bit earlier, so we're only gonna get it. We get there at like five, it's 10 to five now. So she'll be able to wash it a little bit earlier than I planned, which is great, so I thought it'd be. A bit of a late one again, same as yesterday, but hopefully not. Okay, guys, so I've got the car, secured the car, and I will be taking it back now to give it a wash and get that done with. So, I might show little bits of the wash, but probably not too much. But yeah, uh, in the car park of this guy, it's apartment place. This is definitely my favorite car by far. Very nice, this X5. I'm actually sure I just refueled up for the customer. Um, usually I offer them to refuel it after they're done with the trip for free. I'll just do that for them. It helps them. It's convenient, especially when they're dropping back to airports and stuff like that. It wasn't this, wasn't an airport, but 
um, makes it easy, easy for them when they have kids, stuff like that, so they don't have to worry about it. There's no charge for it. Um, it's just a service we offer to make their life easier. There's some nice cars in this uh, Shell station. But anyway, yeah, we're going to go back now and wash the car. Okay, so I've done the interior. It's all done. Looking perfect and brand new again. I just got to do the exterior, which kind of looks clean, but it's actually really dusty. And the wheels are really bad. And if you remember last time, I didn't actually do the wheels properly because they weren't that dirty. So now I've got to do them with the brushes. Okay, so car is done inside and out. Car seat is in. Uh, looking nice and shiny. So yeah, I'm going to take this back to my flat. I actually need to use it a bit tomorrow. And then I will take it to my friend on Saturday evening, who is actually delivering this for me on Sunday, because I am busy. So he's very helpful for helping me out, out with that. Um, but yeah, this is done now. Now I can finally go home. Okay, guys, so it is Sunday, the last day of the week now. It's like 7.30. I've just collected this car from somewhere in Chelsea. This was the X5 that I gave on Friday, early morning at Heathrow. They're done with it. Um, the car is actually pretty dirty. I'll show you. But um, yeah, they are done with it. Um, I actually don't mind it being dirty, but they went to the Cotswolds. And so that's why it's so dirty. <laughs> you can see like all up here. And stuff on the tires but yeah i don't actually mind it so um it's fine on the inside it's just the outside because they've been through like mud and stuff which is cool um doesn't really add much more work to the washing when it's super dirty inside okay so it is actually monday and i don't know what's going on with the screen but um it's monday it's 4 46 I'm going to Heathrow to go and get the 5 Series that I dropped on Thursday night. They're done with that. So, yes, that is where I'm going now. Okay, so got the car. Got here actually really quickly because it's so early. Um, car is nice, it's fine. Um, perfect, really nice guest. They've gone off to their flight. So, yeah, all good. Heathrow seems to be nice and fairly quiet this morning. Um, so, not too bad usually i think even at this time in the morning it's quite um busy i'm just gonna do the checkout process now um but i actually struggled to get a uber this morning it was really really difficult um or a bolt or anything um and actually the guy told me he was like uber and bolt is now impossible to get for the airport because they don't pay for the drop-off charge that uh that airports have so no one really wants to do it and they keep cancelling until the price goes up and then they'll accept it. So anyway, I took his number. I have a number of some other sort of text drivers, but yeah, I didn't think it would be um, such an issue. Yeah, but good idea to get the number of taxi drivers just in case you sort of have an early drop off or something and it's there's not many taxis around. And so, you know, you need to get somewhere. Sorry, I'm just struggling because I'm leaning over to do the photos at the same time, but yeah try and get their number so that just in case time like this in an emergency or you can just pre-plan with them and say okay this is the time that i need to get a car for and then you know you can have that set with them at least so yeah anyway i am gonna drive back home now and put this in my car park and then I'm going to be needing to wash the Volvo XC90 SUV today. That will be fun because um, that is going out tomorrow morning. So I'll continue the vlog because I actually started last Tuesday, I think. Um, so I'll continue till tomorrow. So it'll be a bit more than a week. Okay, so I've just filled up the car. This is the Volvo with some Ablu because that's what I needed. I'm going to clean the inside. I'm also going to use this, which is like an extractor. To clean the seats because the seats are like a alcantara velar sort of soft because this is the r design so like i don't know man but the 
Some of the seats are okay, but like the previous winters, I don't know what they did. Like it wasn't perfect before, but like I don't know what they spilled on this one. But yeah, so gonna clean that up as well. So it's gonna be probably quite long interior clean. I've done this. Finished with the inside, cleaned everything, gone over everything, extracted all the seats. Um, so they're looking perfect. I haven't done the car mats yet because the car mats I'm going to um, jet wash and extract. But yeah, the outside is super dirty. So I'm going to have to do a long one on that. But it hasn't been washed in ages, so it's got a lot of dirt rubbish on it. So I'm just like extracting these, yeah. And this is the water that's coming out. And this is after jet washing it here. So I put like um, a snow foam thing on. And then I... So I, I jet washed it with hard pressure. Put like a snow foam thing on. That's a really harsh one. And then I jet washed... Uh, no, I agitated it with a stiff brush. And then I jet washed that off. And then I'm extracting it. And this is the water that's coming out. So yeah. Carpets get pretty dirty. Okay, so completely finished this now. It's looking shiny and nice. This is a really long one because I had to do a lot of work on the outside as well as mostly on the inside. Um, but the seats are done and looking way better. They're almost dry, but they'll be dry by tomorrow for sure. I've got the car seats in there that they need, but I'm just not putting them in yet because Wait for the seats completely dry, and I've got the floor mats here, which are more wet. But I will leave them outside on my balcony to dry out overnight. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna live with this one tomorrow um, for 9:30. So oh, probably next filming will be then. Okay, so going to deliver this Volvo. It's all prepared and everything. The car mats managed to dry out. Mostly the slightly damp, but that's fine. They'll dry out. And these seats are completely dry. I went downstairs, gave it another nice wipe over with my ceramic spray. Yeah, kind of get fuel on the way and then deliver it. Okay, so drop. Just dropped off the car here. It's like somewhere in Kensington is a really nice area. Really nice people. They actually had three cars that they hired, only one from me, because they were going on a trip to the Cotswolds and they packed that car to the max, um, to the absolute max and the other cars. Because the other cars that they rented was like a Q3 and a small Land Rover. So not very sensible cars. Ours was <laughs> sensible. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go back. I actually have to take this parcel shelf back as well because I couldn't fit that in which is fine. I was going to go on a long walk, but I think I'll just go on a short walk to the station. Um, they offered to pay extra for a cab and stuff like that, but I said it's fine. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll be walking with a giant parcel shelf. Okay guys, so successfully made it back with the parcel shelf. So yeah, it's a bit of a crap day today with the weather, but I missed any rain, which is good. Um, yeah, so that brings me to Tuesday. So I thought I'd do, was it Monday to Monday? Cause I started filming last Tuesday. So that is a week in, the life this week. So it was a pretty busy week. Um, there were lots of other things that were sort of going on uh, with maybe some other tour bits that I missed or some property stuff or some other things that I do. Um, I showed you like doing my workouts, I think. Um, but I usually work out like Monday to Friday. But yeah, if you want to see more of this or more of different things, then just leave a comment and make sure to subscribe because we'll be making more videos like this in the future. So see you on the next video.